is up my fluffy buns? I'm gonna be talking about the difference between baker and pastry chef. I did some little research, the difference between baker and pastry chef, which I made this little Venn diagram, if you guys can see it. My handwriting is terrible, just like what my parents said, but anyway, and this little t-chart so i'm just gonna like summarize this whole thing so a baker they make breads and savory dishes is what it is while pastry chefs they work in like certain desserts i would say that certain dessert a baker they work in like, like in factories pastry chef they work in like in restaurants sometimes like cafe too a baker can be a pastry chef they just like you know need to step up to upgrade themselves for pastry chef they do not deal with industrial baking the term chef means boss which is a little fun fact. How the baker gets pay is they pay like $23,000 in 600 medium pay, while pastry chef gets like $41,000 in 610 medium wage, which they make twice as much as bakers. I don't know why, but because like they work on like fancy desserts, I would say that. And like they're both kind of similar. It's just that what they both have in common is like they don't require a degree, but they just need specialized and training. So I'm just gonna like squeeze these explanation in with Michelle Spawn. Someone requested me to talk about her and what I think about Michelle Spawn is like, I guess she's kind of like my inspiration just that even though I don't do like makeup that kind of thing, like she inspires like other people to do to be happy. Like, you know what she said, money's buy you happiness, which is not true. It doesn't. I believe her. To be honest, I kind of want to be just like her, you know, be a YouTuber and a pastry chef. Which, I'm sorry for you guys, I got confused between those two words. I mean, they're similar, they're kind of like sort of the same thing, but they're really not. They're kind of like two different jobs in that kind of way. To be real though, I kind of want to be a pastry chef and want to like own my little cafe. Like, you know, sell my cakes, or make some coffee, I don't know. I felt kind of sad since she left YouTube. I understand that because like she's going through like a whole depression and social anxiety. I'm kind of the same too, but... I'm kind of like other way around is what I'm saying. I'm kind of like other way around. It's kind of like my therapy. If I hadn't like done YouTube, I would not be alive right now. YouTube, I guess, sort of saved my life because Brian Butterfly, yes, shout out to her. She helped me like, you know, encourage me to do more YouTube is what I'm saying here. And thank you, Brian Butterfly, for the first subscriber. Encourage me to do more YouTube. If it wasn't for you or YouTube, I wouldn't be alive. I know I just said that, but... You know, it's just like, it's my cope of therapy, is what I'm saying. Plus, I like making videos. I just feel like my parents, or basically my family, doesn't appreciate what I love doing. I love to bake. I love to make videos. But all they kept saying to me is, like, they think it's not a real job. And they always kept bragging my sister that, you know, being a doctor is a thing here. Like, they don't care about helping the poor. They care about, like the money and stuff. Well, that's all I'm gonna have to say right here. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell down here and I'll see you guys in the next video.